what's up? Stuff. I got exciting, you know, because you know it's not every day to see my bestie that I've known for quite some time, but also my Filipino bestie because we both Filipino. Hey. People don't even know that shit. You know what I, mean? I know. So I my was... people here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like the only Filipino kid that's in the Urban X Hall of Fame, you know what I mean? It's such a special thing for me. And so it's a special, special privilege to have this interview with my longtime super bestie and just a beautiful Filipina and also person, Jada Kai. Aww. Now, how did you first get into the business? Because you were doing something totally different before you were doing this. I started skating when I was really young. I was like six years old when I first stepped on the ice. Woohoo! And then um, I started competing. So wait, did your parents know that you really liked skating when you were that young or? <laughs> yeah, I would throw like temper tantrums. So. No way, <laughs> shut up. Okay, so wait, they, they were like, you were like, don't I want to go ice skating. I want to go ice skating right now. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay. So yeah, they, they were like, okay, we'll take you ice skating. I started taking like group lessons. Right, right. And then once I started taking private lessons, the coach that I was working with at the time uh -huh. was like, oh, I think she's really talented. All right. Yeah, she was like, maybe you guys should move and train at Delaware. It was one of the top training centers at okay. the time. Okay. I ended up moving by the time I was like eight years old with my family to like pursue a whole ice skating wow. career. Now, was that kind of a tough thing for you, uprooting from where you were, like, you know, you had friends in the school and all that stuff, and your parents had jobs and all that stuff, right? Yeah, so um, I was living in Philadelphia at the time, okay. and then I didn't even like hear about Delaware because I was so wow. young. Okay. And so I was a little bit sad when I left, but, um, I ended up really liking Delaware. I kept competing. It was night and day going to that rink because there were people from all over the world training there. Wow. Yeah, so, and then by the time I was in high school, I like worked really hard and I ended up making Team USA. Wow, what a big yeah. deal. Okay. Yeah, so when I was 14, I did my first competition in Italy. And wow. Yeah, I brought home the gold there. Wow. And I was able to keep that up for five years. Okay. Um, so what we could take away from this, folks, is that, you know, this wasn't like an occasional pastime for her. She was actually pretty fucking good at this. <laughs> you know, <like> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it was a lot of, it was crazy hard work. Like, I don't know how I worked that hard when I was that young. So do you remember, like, I've read some interviews where gymnasts that were on the Olympic team for USA have talked about sort of like the strenuous workouts that they would have yeah. to go through, you know, doing 2,000 sit-ups a day and this and that, all the crazy things. Was that like a very harsh workout regimen for you as well when you were younger? Working out and skating before school, like, okay. I would start training at, like, 5 30 in the morning wow yeah and then i would go to school for a little bit okay and then i would be right back at the rink doing the training stuff going back to training okay um and then working out again at nighttime and then by the time i was home it was like 7 p.m and i'd be like cramming like, yeah. homework how did you go from that to representing our country the philippines um so i both my parents were filipino okay um, so since I had dual citizenship, I had the opportunity to represent the Philippines as well. That's fucking awesome. And put like Philippines on the map for international competitions. I was able to share my skating with like the new rinks over there because wow. skating was pretty new to the Philippines. I mean, right, it's an right. island, yes. yeah. you know, a tropical island. A so. tropical island, so there's not like ice just it's, available. You can't just snowboard anywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hockey teams, you know, it's not like the same thing. You know? Yeah, for sure. So oh. I was able to medal internationally for the Philippines. Wow. Yeah, and that was really special to me. At mm -hmm. what point did you realize like sex was a thing and like? You, the first person you had sex with, was, was that a boy or a girl? It was a boy. Was it his idea or your idea? <laughs> it was definitely his idea. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Nothing I remember that. Um, I lost my... Right. You're like, yeah, okay, uh, I gotta do this. Yeah, it was um, this boy. He was definitely more sexually experienced than me. Oh, okay. okay. So I, I was kind of like 
embarrassed about being a virgin. Okay, okay. So I kept that from him. Oh, so you never told him? <laughs> I didn't tell him before just, I fucked him. You're, you're just, you just, you did your best, you know, uh, you know, trying to fake it till you make it, basically. Right? Yeah, I was like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just lay here, right? <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, wait a minute, what are you doing? That's not a good day. No, 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 I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So, no, I mean, like, the first time we hooked up, he, he, like, got all naked and was like, do you want to suck it? And I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. probably, like, the worst, worst blowjob. Okay, she's gotten a lot better since then. <laughs> trust me, everyone, trust me. I remember when he came, I was like, I don't... What, what is that? What? What's <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> But now I know what cum is yeah. and, um, you know, I'm better at my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking about practice making perfect, that's what I would say, right? Yes. Now, uh, so, what about girls? Were you into girls at all? Yeah, I was always, like, very attracted to girls. Um, I would always, like, check them out. The first girl that I hooked up with... It's gotta be a good story. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, it might not be the best story. No, that's a good story. <laughs> I actually know this story. That's why I'm saying it's a good story. Well, listen to this. Right, so tell us about the first story. So at the time I was working at a bar. Yeah. And this beautiful blonde girl. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was a good story. <laughs> um, she was a regular at the bar already. I bet so she, she was. <laughs> so she made friends with most of the bartenders yeah. and everyone there. I and fucking then... knew the whole time. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to sit on her face. <laughs> <laughs> so she ended up like telling everyone at my job that like, oh, Jada is pretty cute. So, so we started getting to know each other while I was at work. Nice. And um, now when you say getting to know each other, does that mean like deep French kissing or is that just like <laughs> holding pinky fingers or <laughs> serving her grace? What does that Exchanging mean? Exchanging words. Exchanging <laughs> words and just talking at this point. You know, exchange words before exchange yes. spit, uh, right? Yes, no, no finger blasting yet. Okay, so. <laughs> Exchanging words, and then she basically somehow alluded to the fact she wanted to sit on your face. Yeah, I, I things and got, I don't know, like so did you get all back heated. To your house? Yeah, she was hanging out at my place for nice. a little bit. I and bet then, she was. And then one night, yeah. things just got all juicy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> she definitely, it was just like me losing my virginity all yeah. over again. Really? She oh, knew, yes. she knew, she what knew to exactly do. what to do, and right. I was just like, <laughs> You were just, you were like, along for the ride. She's like, I was like, this feels good, you watch know. Watch this, baby. <laughs> Lay back. <laughs> and um, that's when I started, like, oh, I really do like hooking up Whoa, with girls. Yeah. Okay, so how is having sex with a girl different than having sex with a guy? I feel like it's so much more sensual. And like, there's a lot more like kissing involved, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, um, yeah, because we don't do all that on board. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I know there's not enough kissing. I'm like trying to punch your butthole. <laughs> you know, kissing you—that's too personal. Bend over. You know? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so now you hooked up with a boy. You hooked up with a girl. Now. What about like a threesome? Did you have a threesome off camera before you got in porn? Yes. Was with it, the same girl. Oh, with the same girl with and a guy? With the same girl and a guy. Did she, did she bring a guy home from the bar to do that with with you? Um, There was a guy I was already hooking up with. Nice. It's actually the person I do content with, right, it's right. Jackie. Okay, gotcha. And um, so, yeah, so she what? was just like so openly sexual and she kind of like nice. taught me how to be openly sexual and like I felt like it was okay to nice. express myself sexually because so of her. So basically what you're saying is Jackie is a lucky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just like, oh wait, what? You know, have a free, huh? Oh, well, I, I I'm saying this girl <laughs> turned me out. Like, she changed me. I, I've done multiple threesomes. So what's your um, favorite comedy? Like, do you like two boys in you? Do you like a boy and a girl in you? Like, what's your favorite thing? I I enjoy one-on-one -on -one a little bit more than threesomes. Okay, yeah, because of the connection, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I... I I worry about people being left out when it's yeah, like a threesome. It head, right? Like I've, I've noticed that even when I'm doing threesomes, like it's the responsibility of the guy, if you got two girls, to make sure both girls feel involved the entire time and nobody feels left out. <laughs> like otherwise you fucking fail and you're not going to get another one. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so I always feel like responsible of like pleasing everyone nice. and then I just Man, like, I, gotta, I, gotta do it I, I just like that's... feel like that. I we don't hang out more shit. No, I'm just <laughs> okay, so, so, okay. So what about, what, what about anal? I mean, people are probably going to ask that. Have you done that in your personal life? You know, I've stuck fingers up there. Nice. Played with little butt plugs. Nice, nice. But I'm like, Okay, so I've done that on camera. Okay. But I'm not like nervous to like go, you know. Well, that's understandable because you, <laughs> I mean, my advice to you is like, I always tell girls the same thing. Don't ever do anything on film that you don't really love to do in your personal life off camera, right? So, you know, until you're comfortable, just practice makes perfect at home too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's hard for me to practice because I enjoy vaginal sex so much. Sure, sure. That I'm like, ah, just like put it in my pussy, nice. <laughs> you know. But I, I do like a finger in the butt, you know. Yeah. While I'm well, that's, going a good, town. that's a good start. <laughs> you know, I think what you should do is just well, when you're off camera, enjoy your vaginal sex, but start with like you know a small butt plug, and then maybe do a little big, bigger one. So every time you have an orgasm, you're associating it with something in your butt. Yeah, that's I get it. it. I get it. I was able to totally <laughs> convince her. Why is this? Like, like, next week, she's going to be like, Gina Kai does triple nail. I'll be like, like put it in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, what else do you like to do off camera? Like your hobbies, things you like to do? Because I know you're kind of outdoor. You're like hiking, you're like doing stuff that's, you know, outdoorsy generally. What else are you into that maybe people don't know you're into? Um, well, with the whole COVID thing, I've yeah. learned to... Love, no. love sitting on my ass and watching. <laughs> You're like, yeah. So much TV. Like, I like, I learned how to sit on the couch <laughs> and drink a beer and eat chips for yes. two years in a row. Yes, I've <laughs> become very well trained in that. Um, but I, I do love going to the gym and like um, hiking, like you said. Nice. I still skate a little bit here and there. Um, oh, that's cool. So, wait, no. Does that mean you're good at snowboarding? Have you been snowboarding? You know, because um, I was always a skater, right. um, the figure skating competitive season was during the winter, so I never really got to go because my oh. coach would be like, you're not allowed, you're going to get hurt, oh. and you won't be able to compete. But now so. you could. But now I'm like, I don't know. I, I can I skate, I it. can skateboard, so maybe yeah, I would so you'll be pick good. It up really easy. Yeah. All right, uh, I'll take it. But I'll it just seems so miserable. <laughs> so fucking fun. You know, to be honest, I was a terrible skier. I really didn't enjoy it, right? Okay. And then the first time somebody put me on a snowboard, I skateboarded all the way through high school, junior high school. I had a skateboard, and like, I was really into it. I picked it up like a fish out of water. I fucking loved it. I was, I was up and, like, you know, spinning around and going off jumps and stuff. It was, like, the best thing ever. I, um... I did a little bit of skimboarding. Oh, shit. okay, that's cool. Um, that's, that's where you're uh, basically at the water's edge. Yeah. Skimming over the, you know. And then, you know, of yeah. course, I had to like fall on my face after. Yeah, that's okay. You fall. I've off stood up on a surfboard. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Certainly easier than surfing. You, so any future plan? Oh, so wait. Where's the craziest place you ever had sex? Um, Could be off camera. Could be off camera. Yeah, off camera on the side of the road nice. when I was moving from Delaware to Colorado. You guys just pulled over on some highway and you were like, and then bend me with a fucking car. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, okay, I have to like tell you the whole story. Yeah, yeah, tell me the whole story. Um, so we were making this like cross country trip. Yep. And um, we were trying to like do it like straight through pretty much right. so we we're just like trying to stay awake the whole time roadhead is really good for that by the way <laughs> keep, keep a guy awake uh, but go ahead, yeah go ahead. yeah so um you know a little a little bit of this started nice. happening a little yeah. bit of roadhead yeah. started happening That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. um uh, we were kind of like in bumblefuck you okay. know in the middle of america yeah, somewhere yeah. uh -huh. and um it's just like all farmland right sure. yep. so we pull over and it, there's like a cornfield. I'm like snuggy in the back. Okay. We lay the snuggy down. We bang it out right, right well, there. All in the middle of the cornfield. You bang right in the middle. Not in the road. middle. We were just like basically well, on the, the side of the road yeah. on a snuggy. Nice. Um, then that was like my first time. No, that wasn't my first time fucking in public. Wow. I actually lost my virginity like at a party in front of people. Really? Yeah. You're kidding. 
<laughs> so like you were just you know at this party and you were feeling like and somebody was like I triple dog dare you to get fucked in the middle of the room. <laughs> no. Okay. So this was when I was pretending that I wasn't right. a virgin, right? right? right, right but right. I got all horny in right. the hot tub, right. like making out with this right. guy. Right. And um, I think we got like so like ugh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so people started like going like yeah. back inside. Okay. And um, we just like start fucking like right, in the hot tub. right. No, not in the hot tub. That's not good for your vagina. Yeah. You <laughs> but outside of the hot tub, right. like right by the pool, and I look up, and um, I see everyone like looking at us, and I was like, oh, oh wow, God, like, here's me not... losing my virginity you in front of like forty business. people. You were fucking meant for this business. <laughs> Thank you. You started out doing it. Too. You know, I always wanted to have sex on the beach, and then I had sex on the beach, and yeah, I was like, I ah, it's just like it looks so much better in the movies. Yeah, it's like, horrible. it's not yeah. practical at yeah. all. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. the worst. Because you don't want sand in those yeah. holes. No, you don't want sand in those places. <laughs> So, any, any so I, I don't know. Like, maybe in a movie theater. Uh, that'd be cool, man. Yeah, sure, sure. I could totally see that. Yeah, that, that would be to do fun. That too. Yeah, yeah. Where can we see more of you on the interwebs? Like, what's your social media? You know, your Instagram, your your Twitter, all that stuff. I am all over the place. Um, if you go to officialjadakai.com, uh -huh. you can find all my links there. Oh, awesome. I'm on Instagram. Yep, with a little check mark so you know it's her. <laughs> yes, it's okay. official Jada Kai uh -huh. on Instagram and Twitter. Nice. Um, and yeah. Fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm on Reddit now too. Wow, so yeah, cool. come and join me on my subreddit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go come and look at that subreddit there. And thank you so much for coming out and you know doing a great interview and amazing pictures we took. And I can't wait to see the pictures when we post them on Friday with the famous Forester. That's gonna be cool too. And thank you so much for representing our, our culture and our peeps. You know, we'll be using a big high five out there. Oh, so, I love your pictures. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for having me. Right. You're always uh, so fun to shoot with. Yay!